Um, I was hoping you could firstly start off by uh, introducing yourselves. Yes, of course. Um, I'm Natasha Seal-Jones. And I'm Paul Lister, and we both work for Cherry Blossom. I was hoping you could tell our listeners a bit about the importance of uh, traditional spring cleaning to start us off. Yes, of course. Um, The importance of the traditional spring cleaning is, um, I guess, the heritage of it, really. It's something that we've seen the generations before us do, and it's just in our second nature. But I think the reason for that is um, the psychological effect. Um, I mean, research that we've recently conducted proves that um, we, we feel more productive when we're working or we're living or we're driving in um, clean spaces. And if we dig deep, even deeper into that, um, that also applies to your shoe care, um, to your footwear and your clothing, because people feel a lot more positive and confident if they feel clean, if they feel smart um, and that applies to the spring clean of their wardrobe. Well, yeah, tell us a bit more about um, sort of um, wearing clean clothes and uh, shoes, making you feel more confident and um, sort of increasing that self-esteem, I'd imagine. Yes, it, it is all about that self-confidence and, and making that good first impression. Um, basically, uh, I'm not going back to when my father used to speak to me about this, there's three things that you need to make sure of. And that first one is polished shoes, a sharp crease in your trousers and a firm handshake. And I think that if you've got all of that covered, you know that when you go out to, for that interview or just your day-to-day life, you're going to feel a lot more confident because you know you're looking good and sharp. And that really is the basis of it. And interestingly... Uh, we know that the millennials um, maybe don't care for their clothing and footwear as much as the, the baby boomers, but we know that the youngsters actually do recognise that they feel a lot more positive when they're looking clean, good and sharp. So, yeah, it's interesting. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I can imagine there's sort of differences between attitudes uh, in the generations when it comes to cleaning. Um, yes, there are. I mean, our research shows, um, which is shocking to me as a millennial, um, that 60% of baby boomers like to have clean footwear compared to a very small 28% of millennials. Um, and for me, I think that's because of the change in society and the way that we live our lives. We live in a more disposable um, society now. And um, we we also, we don't understand just how easy it is to take care of your shoes. Um, we live in a very fast society and we don't think we've got time um, and also I think it comes down to as well is, is fear because if you have bought yourself a nice new pair of shoes you might you might be worried about treating them and adding something to it but really looking after your shoes is the most simple simple thing it's so easy to do and it makes them last a lot longer and, and our job is to get that message out there to to all generations so that the that that massive gap in percentages um, reduces and um, we have actually started noticing the change recently, and that's with this sneakerhead trend. Um, people are more into collecting trainers and looking after their trainers, and that's where the, um, we've recently launched our sister brand, Sneaker SOS, and that is all about taking care of your trainers. And we hope that we see this shift moving and applying to all footwear. Yeah, we find that with our retailers, um, that you know, we deal with a lot of fashion uh, young footwear retailers, and we find that if we educate the young people on the shop floor to impart advice, when they give that advice to young people, sort of like, if you like, cool kids talking to cool kids, they engage with shoe care. And we've seen a lot of growth in that area. So here at Cherry Blossom, we see it as our job to make it very easy for, for youngsters to see, see how easy it is to take care and therefore get more out of what they're purchasing in terms of footwear and clothing. And I'd imagine it's uh, easier because um, you can uh, probably look up on online and uh, check whether you are using the right stuff to clean your shoes and not damaging them. Of course, definitely. We have a lot of how-to videos on our yes, on our website as well and on our social media pages. So they and if anybody's ever got any questions, they can always get in touch with us. We're more than happy to advise. And I imagine sort of British heritage has taught us to take pride in our belongings uh, over the years as well. 
Yeah, I mean, it kind of goes back to the early 1900s, where, interestingly, the first production of shoe polish for cherry blossom was actually 1906, so it's a good place to start. Um, and then if we move a little bit ahead in time into the first, you know, into the first uh, World War One and Two, and there was a huge push then of make, do, and men, because these were difficult times, and therefore people took care of their footwear and clothing because, just to get more out of them. And then this led to really getting this good first impression. It was very important in those days, and that sort of meant message was quite strong into my age group, which I'm, I'm a baby boomer. That, that message came from my father. And, but over the years, it's kind of diluted in time. And that's what, that's what we're trying to do at Cherry Blossom is to bridge that gap, as we sort of mentioned before. But it does actually, the World War times did actually stem a lot of this uh, first impression. And that's uh, something we can still do, sort of renew and refresh what we already own, rather than sort of rushing out and buying you. Yes, I think that that is really important. I mean, um, there's a cost of of buying new and replacing shoes when you really don't need to. I think if people realise just how easy it is to make your shoes last a lot longer, um, then they'll start to do that. Um, I mean, for me, I've got my favourite pair of heels that that last me. I can wear them all night. I can be on my feet all night and they don't hurt. And I reheal them, I clean them, I protect them, and they're, they're always my go-to shoes. And I think, I think comfort is a massive thing. And why, why would you? Obviously, everybody likes to treat themselves, but I think a lot of people agree that there's nothing better, whether they're they're out walking or they're at work, is to have a comfortable pair of shoes that look smart because you feel confident. And if you take care of those shoes and they look smart, um. And, and then you have that comfort as well, then you, you wouldn't want a new pair of shoes because they tick all the boxes. And also shoe repairers um, uh, make a living from this. That, you know, if people are buying you know, expensive footwear, um, if they get them resold or rehealed, it means that they can, have those, uh, they can get that comfort uh, for a longer period of time. So that's also a very important point. Um, that it's about prolonging that comfort uh, from the shoes. And I imagine it's um, starting to care for your shoes um, straight away to help them to last longer. Definitely. It's day one. Uh, before you step out the door, if you've got leather footwear, use a, a wax polish that will protect the shoes, you know, just in case it rains when you move out the door. And then on suede new book and fabric footwear, get a good spray like Ultra Repel uh, from Cherry Blossom. That will actually give you protection against the elements and also against alcohol and fizzy drinks which is obviously a problem uh, when you're out partying but uh, yeah that, that, but so the first protection is the most important I was wondering if you could just let our listeners uh, know and refresh them of uh, any information or where they can find out more perhaps online Yes, of course. Um, they can head to our website, which is www.cherryblossom.co.uk, or they can also get in touch via our social media pages. For Twitter, that's CB Shoe Care, and for Instagram and Facebook, that's Cherry Blossom Shoe Care, and we'll be happy to help them in any way that they need. Well, I'd like to thank the both of you very much for taking the time out to talk to us. Thank you. Thank for you very much. Us. Take care, Daniel.